And now may I introduce Mark Kusak, our Chief Architect. Can you tell us how the data reduction and compression is achieved by Rainstore? The way that Rainstore compresses data can be best illustrated with a simple example. Let's take three records with the fields make, model, colour and year. Let's populate it with three cars. We've got a Ford, record number one, and it's a Mustang, and its colour is black, and its year is 2010. The second record we have is another Ford, this time a Focus, and it's green, and its year is 2009. And then finally, we've got a Toyota. Toyota Prius, which is green, and its age is also 2009. Now, the key part of uh, Rainstore technology is how we represent these records within memory and also on disk. So the way we do that is using a binary tree to represent each record. Let's uh, represent record number one using a binary tree. So we represent the record as a whole by a root to a binary tree. Uh, the binary tree, of course, has two children, which are our branches. And again, these branches have two further children to give us leaves of our binary tree. And at the leaves of the binary tree, we assign values from the different fields. So for our first record, we've got Ford. Its model is a Mustang. Its color is black and its age is 2010. So that represents one record. Now at the moment, all we've done is introduce a whole bunch of overhead into the way we represent a record, which doesn't give us anything. But where it starts to get interesting is if we start to consider how another record relates to this first record. So that's record number one. So record number two is a Ford. Ford, uh, and it's a Focus, and it's green this time, and its year is 2009. Now the first thing we can spot is that the first two records have a common value between them, Ford. So what Rainstore does is decide, well, we're not going to store this information about this leaf twice. What we're simply going to do is store a pointer to the value in the first record. So that's our first level of deduplication column level deduplication. Now at the moment, what we've done is no similar to a columnar database uh, such as Vertica or Sybase IQ. Where things start to get really interesting is our second level of deduplication, what we call pattern level deduplication, which is illustrated by when we bring our third record into the mix. So now, again, we've got our binary tree representing our record. So this time it's a Toyota, uh, it's a Prius, it's green um, and it's 2009. And now if we look at uh, records two and three, we notice that there is commonality in the branches of our binary tree here, which means that as far as our third record is concerned, we don't need to store any of that information a second time. We can simply introduce a pointer to the branch node within the binary tree. So that's the second level of deduplication. Now, where it really gets interesting is when we don't just have three records, we grow this into a forest of binary trees, typically a million of these binary trees all interrelated to one another. And this is where we get our high level of in-memory compression from. Now, for certain pathological cases, this branch structure here is still introducing overhead, um, of course, but in general, what you find is the branches are much uh, smaller with respect to the overall data volume compared to the leaves and so you, this is where we get our high high degree of compression from. Now we have a, a second, a third and fourth sorry, stage of compression that we also um, apply <coughs> to these uh, binary tree structures to allow us to represent the branches and the roots in, a, in as efficient in memory and on disk format as possible and we call this semantic compression. So a bunch of arithmetic um, tools in order to reduce the overall volume of those uh, areas of the binary tree. And then finally, we apply a byte level 
uh, of compression to the binary trees together to further reduce the data and arrive at a typically 40 to 1, 60 to 1 level of compression.